Welcome to another episode of Trends and Ideas. I'm your host, Isabel Sender, and our guest today is S&P Capital IQ Equity Analyst Robert DeZago, who's here to talk to us about why he thinks high-ranked integrated telecommunications stocks are poised to continue supporting their high dividend yields. Thanks very much for joining us today, Rob. Happy to be here. Well, tell us, uh, there are four t telecoms right now under coverage that recently paid a dividend uh, that yields better than 6%. That's pretty high. And you believe that the stock prices will rise as well. Can you give us a little bit of background about yeah. that? Yeah, you know, we see very favorable capital appreciation uh, in the telecoms that we cover, especially when you factor in these high dividend yields. Uh, you know, we forecast these high yielding stocks to generate sufficient free cash flow to support these dividends. You know, so we think these are dividend levels that, that, that really investors can count on. Well, dividends aren't guaranteed, as we know. Uh, so what makes you believe? What's the really the number one reason why you believe that these high yields will continue? Sure. Well, you know, investors favor high yielding stocks, at least we believe. And but what they do is they carefully monitor the relationship between the free cash flow and the dividend. So we think a comfortable range is a dividend that is, is about 40 to 60 percent of total free cash flow. Um, and the key for us is that many of the mid-sized carriers that we cover and that we favor here uh, have already reduced their dividends in the last couple of years to get within that 40 to 60 percent um, of free cash flow payout ratio. And based on our forward estimates, we feel pretty comfortable with the levels into, well through 2014. Of the four telecoms that you think may continue to pay high dividends, which one do you want to highlight for us here, please? Sure. I think we can highlight CenturyLink today. Uh, it's paying a dividend yield of about 6.5%. Um, and we think that there is, uh, it's attractive on both valuation and an expectation that there's going to be rising investor sentiment and stabilizing revenue, which is important for the sustainability of the dividend. Now, the big key here is that they are not only paying a, a healthy dividend yield, but they're also involved in a $2 billion stock repurchase program, which they're only about halfway through. You know, so, you know, yes, they did cut the dividend back in February of 2013, but that got them back to a dividend payout ratio of about 42 percent. Uh, and even as we look into 2015, when they pay full cash taxes, the dividend will still be within that 40 to 60 percent uh, range um, that we're very comfortable with. And with that, we think that this is a, a very sustainable dividend for CenturyLink. Terrific. Well, thank you very much for sharing your views with us, Robert. And uh, we encourage all of our subscribers to read more of Robert's other telecom picks in a related marketscope.com story called uh, Telecoms Dialing for High Dividend Yields in 2014. Until next time, we thank you for watching or listening. I'm Isabel Sender for S&P Capital IQ.